Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. I'm actually at work right now. Well, I'm actually on like a 15 minute break because it's really slow today. I just have a vlog today because I'm in the vlogging mood. The reason I picked up the camera was to tell you guys about this. This is Planet Smoothie, which I already love and I get like every day at work, which I need to stop because it's a waste of money. But they have this new thing. They have boba now. So it's only mango boba. There's no other flavor. So if you get chocolate smoothies, it probably would taste, I imagine, gross. But if you get the fruit flavors, put the mango boba in it because I promise you, it is a game changer. I already love their smoothies, but with the boba, like, someone's got to stop me from coming here all the time because it's so much better with the boba in it. So the smoothie I normally get is a twigs and berries flavor, which is basically strawberry banana and just um, frozen yogurt. And you would think maybe the mango wouldn't be good with it, but even with the drink that doesn't necessarily like match the flavor of the boba, it's still really good boba. And what else is really good from Planet Smoothie are these cookies. They're actually vegan. And I don't know if I talked about these in the vlogs before or not. I like this flavor the most, double chocolate chip cookie. And it look it doesn't look as good as it tastes, but it literally tastes like a fresh brownie. And I'm very picky about my brownies. And I don't usually like chocolate chip in my stuff, but these chocolate chips are actually not hard. So I wanted to revisit my feelings about living in Austin, Texas. We've been back in Florida since January. So we've been back in Florida for five months now. Looking back on our vlogs, I, I truly believe that if we had lived in a different part of Austin, we would have stayed in like that. I think what we didn't like was the exact part we live in. And I just hate that every time we move out of state, like the second we don't like something small, we're like, okay, let's go back to Florida. I wish we would just like move and then actually like give the state a chance. Like, I feel like that's why everyone thinks it's a joke when we move all the time because we like move for like five months and then we come back. I just wish that we had like tried to live in like a different part of Boston or even a different part of Texas because I've heard a lot of good things about Dallas, Fort Worth area. Um, because Every time I come back to Florida, I just have this feeling of like, I don't know how to describe it, life's great right now. Like, things are going good, we're both working, everything's great for us right now, but it's like, there's like a feeling of like, I don't wanna be here. Like, I feel like this is not where I, we should settle the rest of our lives a lot of times. And I don't want anyone in our personal life to get concerned, like, oh great, they're gonna go move in again, but I just always get that feeling when we come back, that's just like, there's somewhere else better out there for us that fits our needs better. Cause like, Florida's like really hot and humid, I don't like that. I'd love to live somewhere that actually has seasons. I'd love to live somewhere where, like, you know, it's different terrain, like there's mountains or deserts or anything, like, whereas Florida, it's just flat. Like, all that's really here in Orlando specifically is mainly Disney. It's the main attraction in Universal theme parks, and, like, theme parks aren't the only things in the world that are fun to do. And, yeah, there's beaches, but in reality, we don't go to the beach that often. We used to, but, like, nowadays, we just don't go that often. Let's say we moved. We go just come back and go to the beach when we come back to visit, like, it's not the heart, but... Anyways, this car's coming, so I'm gonna stop recording myself, but that was just a little bit of a deep dive, not deep dive, just a little bit of a dip into how I'm feeling right now about moving back to Florida from Austin, Texas, and later I'll get Greg's opinion too. We are pulling up to the Orange County Animal Shelter to go look at cats and dogs for fun. We have Gregory Donato here, the core in the back. We have no animals because obviously you can't bring animals to the animal shelter. We saw a lot of cute animals there. When I got some, I wanted to see Dunkin' Donuts. This is Krispy Kremes. And wow, refresh donuts. Another level of donuts. Very good. That's why I think making me look very terrible. So we're going to end this clip here. I'll see you guys back at home. I want to show you guys a pretty sunset. Look at that. Nice sunset. If the camera was focused, but you know, the camera hates me, so it's not focusing. Yeah. Don't be focused. Pretty. A nice nighttime walk. I like sunsets, I like sunrises too. I'm just usually not paying attention when it's sunrise. I'm usually like, if I'm awake, it means I'm going to work or something. Hmm. 
Hello guys, it's JL. It is currently Thursday afternoon. We're all home from work and daycare. There's Cora in the background. And I am in a vlogging mood. So I'm gonna vlog today. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, so I have to take all of this out and wash it. And I'm not looking forward to that, not even the slightest bit. I hate taking my hair on, I hate getting it done, but you gotta do things. Like you can't just walk around with like a, a bird's nest in your head. But you know what's funny? What I miss about Austin? It's the Austin Animal Center, which is a shelter. It was like the county shelter, but it was called Austin Animal Center. And it was like so like if you guys actually know my Texas blogs aren't really on this channel, but I do have them on another channel. And if you look at it, it was such a nice shelter and it was really big and there's so many animals. And even when we didn't find any animal that fit our home, because at the time we were wanting a second dog, it was still so nice to visit them and see them and see the personalities and like the facility was just so nicely put and like those animals are well cared for. Like it was a really nice place to just visit, even if you had no intentions on adopting an animal. It's still nice to go and visit all of them. Let Cora come out here for a minute. Greg brought her out here because she's a little cranky crank. So we said, we're going to let you come out here and play for a second. Be outside, enjoy the weather. Hopefully she'll take a nap in a little bit. So I just finally took all my hair out. <laughs> my ends are fucking like destroyed. So let's not even look at that. I look crazy right now. My hair's just in a back ponytail. I need to wash it. And then I have to run by my mom's to pick up the hair that I'm gonna be putting, I'm not gonna be putting it in. The hairstyle I'm gonna be putting in tomorrow. And then we're gonna just relax for the night. And that's all we have planned. Cora's down here. She was jumping on me like a little monkey the entire time I was taking my hair out. It took a couple hours. I think it took like, it was light out when I started. It's probably like three hours, I'd say. Two, three or maybe two and a half hours. It'll probably take like four to five hours to get my hair put in tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that. I think I hate that more than taking out the hair because my hair is such thick and like such thick hair that hurts kind of. I am happy my hair's out and I can't wait to see what new hair looks like. So I made for some little, you know, nighttime snack. We got some cheese. I think it's cheddar or I don't remember what it is. Don't even call me. Raspberries, some strawberries, and some water. And I know I kind of gave her a lot of fruit, but she really likes it to be honest. And she actually will eat all of this. She's down here playing with her things. Being a toddler, playing with her toddler things. I mean, that's actually doggy scoop for the food, and that's a bowl that we use for cooking. So she took it out, and I just let her keep it. She's having fun. <laughs> 